<sighs> okay. Hey guys. Nope. Hey guys. It's been a while. Nope. Hey everybody. So, funny story. On September 7th, all of a sudden, I had no spare time. Because, if you didn't know, my school started on September 7th. I am a senior this year. I've been spending a lot of time during the day at school because, you know, I have Zooms all day and there's like a schedule and whatnot. So it's like normal school except on the computer. So for most of the, all of the weekdays, I have Zooms all day from 9 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon. And then... On September 7th, we also launched a new Minecraft server with some different rules. Everyone who joins has to pitch in money for the server price so that we're all a piece of the server. It, it gives people incentive to play when, you know, they're paying out of their pocket to play on it. It's not a lot of money. It's like a couple cents, but, you know, that incentive is still there. And that's been going well for a while. We've got a lot more progress on it compared to, like, the last servers. This one is going to really sustain longevity. And also, during school... Minecraft is a perfect game to play because you can pause it anytime you want, focus on the lesson, you know, log out of the server, because it's not one that's like you're locked in a multiplayer session or like you're doing some mission or whatever. Since it's, since it's like a sandbox, you can just kind of log off whenever, do your schoolwork, and then log back in and keep playing. It, it works great for the, you know, the way school is right now, surprisingly well. It's like a match made in heaven. So a lot of my friends have been playing Minecraft during the school day, or when we have no work to do, of course. Um, and it's been going pretty well, and that's what this video is about, but also I have to kind of get this out of the way here. Uh, in every video, I have to talk about my Doctor Who video essay since this is like 80% of my life right now. <sighs> it's been going well so far. I finished, I, I, I know you guys don't know the progress really or how it's marked up, but it's marked into chapters, right? You know, like an, an average research paper. There are, well, there's the prologue, and then there's... Six chapters and then a conclusion. So eight chapters, basically. Eight sections. And I finished section four, counting the prologue as well. So four out of eight. I'm halfway done. One of the sections is way shorter than the rest of them. But let me tell you guys, it is a lot... Making an hour-long video essay is a lot harder than it looks on YouTube. If you've seen video essays, it's just footage over talking, but... 7,000 words about Doctor Who is a lot of words, and it's been eating up a lot of my spare time, but I'm proud of it. It's something that I'm proud of. I've really, really been working on it, and it's really good so far. I'm making sh I'm even the stuff that I did before, I'm revising it every second, adding new stuff and replacing shit that's not good. It's gonna be great, so when it comes out, you guys better fucking watch that, because it, it's taken me months to make it, and my progress right now, I mean, it speaks for itself. It's <laughs> This takes a lot of time, okay? So, we're gonna play Minecraft now. Sorry about that. Is my audio working? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Where's my music? What the hell? Come on, Minecraft. There's still no music. Alright, whatever. Anyway, here's our server. Viva la shrub. Got some boys in here. Say howdy. Dude, why are they playing Sweden? They always gotta play Sweden, huh? Alright, so we got a lot to see. In this one, we actually have a functioning nether hub with a bunch of stuff packed in there. So we got a lot to see. And there's about 11 people in the server right now. A big leap from, you know, others. Most of them don't play, but we have about 7 or 8 active players. And we're going to go visit all their bases, everything that's built. We're going to see it all. And uh, we're here in my base, of course. Let's get to it. So starting off, this is my little grand staircase here. This is the first thing I built. I'm obsessed with mountain houses in Minecraft. Every time I play on Minecraft Realm, I have to make an epic base on the top of a mountain. And so far, this is the best one yet. I like little houses in, like, a field. It fits in, like, a village area. And we're going to see some village houses in, you know, the realm. But I usually like to build big and work on, like, a large mass, like a mountain. It makes it pretty exciting to build. So here's my little grand staircase. I got all my beds here. I'm, I'm working on getting every color, but it's not exactly a project I'm you know, working on right this moment. Down here we have another portal. It's a size bigger than the normal one because it needs to be symmetrical with the staircase. And then down here we have the chest room, which is all, well, you know, not all glass, but it's mainly glass. 
We got a lot of chests. We got all our ores right here. Food down here, and then saplings. This is netherite. Uh, I guess it's like foliage. These chests aren't filled. And then blocks. Mainly blocks. Some of these are in. Yeah, this is mainly blocks, I guess. And then down here, it's a little like smelter area. And then we got an anvil and a smithing table for netherite stuff. And then back up. This is a little glass floor. We're going to get to the garden. Or, you know, the. Yeah, I guess it would be a garden in a second here. Um, over on this side, nothing much. We're going to get to the front in a second. This was where I was going to put a, you know, villager thing, but didn't work out, you know. You know how it is. And this whole area used to be a mountain, like a little hill, kind of like that. We dug it all out uh, so we can fit all our animals here. So I got sheep, cows, chickens, pigs, and also those guys. Uh, these are chests that have like food in them to feed the whatchamacallits. This is a little contraption. I looked up a YouTube video. It's how to get the bullseye achievement. I don't know why it's still up, but it's a little contraption. What you do is you shoot arrows onto the, yeah, this trap door. And then you walk all the way down here. And then you hit this button while standing 30 blocks away. It'll hit the bullseye and you'll get the achievement. Uh, infinite water source, infinite lava source. And a campfire. There's an identical one on that side too. And then this is our little greenhouse that isn't finished. <laughs> Glass is expensive, but it's getting there, I guess. In here we have oak, birch, spruce, and then I'm gonna put uh, dark oak here, I believe. But it's acacia for now. I fucking hate acacia wood, but it's there. Here we have a mog grinder that only works when it chooses to. It's very picky. I don't I don't know why. Like there's there's no mobs right now. But if I kind of manipulate the spawns with this water it's kind of sometimes it works. <laughs> Maybe. You guys in there? Hello? Let's go say hi to them. Oh lord, I almost died. Alright, well let's oh wait. Got a party person. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it doesn't work. I don't know why. Something about the server, probably. Anyway, moving on. This is the, uh, top level, as it were. And then down here, we have a little staircase. This is all kind of being built out. I imagine I'll put something over here, clear out this area, put something sweet, and, like, maybe down here or something. But most of this is kind of built out, this main little junction. <gasps> No, I had a snow golem here, and there's like fences so I could get, you know, snow blocks. But he's gone, he died. Oh. Anyway, here we have a little piston door into this little area. I'm working on getting bricks in here, but this is where we keep the enchantment table. And then a little uh, wardrobe kind of thing. I built this on the other server, but uh, it's pretty cool. Cycles three uh, armor stands. Here we have another looky loo down to the garden. That's the second layer of glass. We'll get to that in a second, don't you worry. Moving on, that's the way to the garden, but we're gonna save that for last since it's on the ground floor. Here we have a little staircase. It's a grand staircase that goes right down to the you know, foot of the mountain. But here's a little door into the mine shaft. That water takes you down to level 12. We got some chests here with a bunch of crap in them. Mining uh, salvages, I guess. And moving on, here's the grand staircase that takes you all the way down. All of this is not fleshed out, but I imagine I'll throw like a swimming pool in here somewhere or something like that, and then work bamboo across the walls. It's a work in progress, of course. This is a huge mountain. It takes a lot of time to, you know, flush it out. And now we're basically at the foot of the mountain. You can see there's the chest room up there. Little lava feature that cr created a pretty cool effect, but we'll get to that in a second. And then here's the garden, finally. Uh, the farm. I, no, it's not a garden. It's a farm. I'm a fool. Anyway, we got wheat, potatoes, beetroot, carrots, melons, pumpkins, and nether wart. It's pretty cool. And this is the staircase that leads right back up. Like so. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay, yeah. Now we can get to the really cool feature that this uh, lava effect kind of created. So I experimented with a lava feature. Just like a flowing wall of lava. Maybe another one on this side, but I haven't built that one, of course. Um, and it got a little out of hand, and it kind of mixed with this water a little bit. There's multiple little water things going on here. 
but the lava hit the water and created this really cool cobblestone effect all the way down the um the side of the mountain it's really slick looks awesome and i was gonna you know like get rid of all this crap but one there's a lot of it and two it actually looks freaking awesome and all the stone as well this wasn't here before it's pretty cool anyway that's pretty much it for my base oh one other thing i guess a kind of little thing um here is the first mine shaft that i made it goes down there but uh it, it leads to the same place as the water elevator kind of thing going on so yeah all right now we're going to the nether hub see everyone else's awesome base also i'm pretty far from everyone so i got a I got a tunnel going on here. Got some snow blocks. You know, packed ice, of course. And then stone bricks and uh, oak. It's pretty cool. We got some boats as well. Got the whole Call Me Carson design going on here. It's pretty slick. It's quite the tunnel, though. It's pretty long, I guess. Anyway, here we are at the Nether Hub. And we did the, you know, SMP Life kind of thing of building in a Sky Ravine in the Nether. As you can see, we're at level 107 right now, so it's pretty high up in the nether. But uh, down here, the main level, here is the spawn portal, or the everyone portal, I guess, since everyone's chilling at spawn, apparently. Um, it's supposed to be just the slime chunk mine, because I, it, there's a mine with a slime chunk in it, but uh, it became spawn portal, I guess. Here's another right mine. I guess we can check it out. It's going to be quite the ladder climb. we got a slime block here that we can kind of use to get down. Um, we got some chests here for, you know, netherrack and whatnot. And then uh, a bunch of paths here to kind of go off and use beds to find netherite. It's pretty decent. It goes on for, you know, ways and ways. So we'll skip most of that. <laughs> it's pretty boring. I was going to do a Minecraft series of this realm. Or I, I wasn't going to, but it was definitely a possibility. But since most of, like, a lot... Most of this is played during school. Yeah, I, I can't film during school. I'm in classes, so. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Here we got a lodestone. This is how you lodestone your compass. Pretty decent. Um, this is a spruce forest behind Miles' house, one of our players. Um, I don't know. It's just a nice little spruce forest that gives you access. This is a tunnel that goes to a frocian, I think. Or maybe not. No, this is to a jungle. This is a jungle tunnel. This one is the longest tunnel, definitely. It goes really far. So we're going to skip that. <laughs> but that goes to a jungle. Alright, here is the path to our nether fortress that we found. It's pretty long. I'm going to get to around to putting ice around these, but you know, I've got a lot of ice for these paths. Um, here is a path to Dylan's house, his, his tunnel. Actually, I'll tell you why I think he moved. This is Dylan's old tunnel. I don't think he has another portal at, at this moment, but, uh, that's there. Actually, tell you what, let's, let's go take it. Seeing all the sights. Alright, here we are, Dylan's old house. I dug all the sand out, I, I plead guilty. Anyway, he's got a little acacia thing going on here. It's not bad. A little stone brick path here. Looking pretty decent. Very, um, I don't know, acacia in design. Because this is literally all, all, you know, cobblestone here, but it's pretty much acacia wood and planks. Got some chests going on here. I, I seriously don't know if he, he's chosen this house, so, but, you know. A lot of room. It looks like an office building. It's pretty huge. Anyway. It's pretty much all there is to see for this house. Alright, here we are back in the nether hub. This is the path to a creeper farm that me and Finley built. Another dude on the server. Um, it doesn't work, I'm pretty sure, but the nether portal is here because it's out in deep ocean so that it'll reduce mob spawns so that, you know, they'll actually spawn in the, you know, the grinder and not some, uh, you know, it won't spawn there anyway, but it doesn't work, I'm pretty sure, unless it doesn't magically decides to work right now. We built it over at his house, which is that way. We're going to take it. Well, I guess we'd have to go to it now, since he doesn't have a portal. Let's take this boat over to Finley's. Whoa, wait. 
I have um Depth Rider. Is that really Depth Rider speed? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Oh no, that's dolphins. Is or maybe it's a combination of both. I know Depth Rider makes you move faster under the water. I don't know if it's like I thought it would be like walking on the ground, see level. Yeah, I walk the same speed. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I don't know. <laughs> enchantments confuse me, but you know, I was making netherite boots, so I had to make sure I had all the enchantments I wanted before I went and made it netherite. Anyway, here's Fiddly's base here. He lives kind of close to uh, some of the people we'll see. This is all kind of close to spawn a little bit. Kind of close to spawn. It's all kind of just like in a line, but there's some distance in between, I guess. But he lives in a little uh, flower biome, I guess. A lot of torches here. It's very bright. Finley's a really great builder. He's got some shit going on here. It's pretty sick. Got a gigantic wheat field over in the ocean. Um, I don't really know what his base is. It's all just kind of a bunch of network of caves, but it looks awesome. We got a little uh, staircase here. And then a nice pond with some redstone lamps in it. And then it goes even further. We got some uh, slime block uh, jump pads. Really decent. And then this is his mine. Pretty weak mine, I have to say. Someone who has a professional at strip mining is pretty weak. But uh, yeah, whatever. We can try, I guess. And that's all it is for this part. I haven't actually seen most of his base. Unless this is all of it, it might be. But he's really good at path. This is all sick. I, I never made sense of, like, very my blocks, but it looks good. A um, little pond here. A little lily pad. A little river kind of thing going on. The path continues. And here's the wheat farm. I'm not sure if this continues. This wheat farm is massive, though. I'm pretty sure it just stops here. Yeah. So that's his, it's just that one little hobbit hole, but it's decent. Anyway, that's about it for Finley's. He picked a really great biome, and he's, you know, a decent builder. More than a decent builder, but uh, there's a lot of potential here still, of course. All right, continuing on. You can see a little bit more of the creeper grinder thing. I don't have a way up. We dug out the thing and then removed the water, so it's just kind of floating in the sky there. I don't know why it's not working. I built the exact same design and creative on a different... You know, like a private single player world, it works fine. So it must be some sort of mob spawn cap or something on the server because uh, it worked in single player. Unless we built it wrong. But we built it twice, so I don't imagine we did it wrong. Anyway, back to the nether hub. To n now, we are going to see Matthew's base, I suppose. And Matthew and company, since he kind of lives in a neighborhood. I built this, by the way, it's on the whiteboard. Actually, it's an exclamation mark on the whiteboard. It used to be a question mark, but I changed it. Regrettably, I, I changed it. All right, here we are in Matthew's place. Matthew's a really decent builder. As you can see, he has a little redstone abomination here. When Matthew's on your Minecraft server, you, you best believe redstone atrocities are to come. But whatever. I'm not going to complain. This is a little nether uh, shack here. Pretty decent, got a little warped wood tree. So we farm, sheep farm, mushroom farm. Here is a um, a pumpkin, auto pumpkin farm. And you use the pumpkins to trade with the villagers that he made. All right, we'll, we'll get to Pittsburgh in a second here, but uh, yeah, it's just a redstone contraption. As you can see, the pumpkin stems are right there. They grow up, get pushed by the pistons, and then are deposited into a chest via hoppers. There is a creeper chasing me. I really don't want him to blow up all of Matthew's great work. Okay, there's a creeper down there. hope Matthew does not uh, make that guy explode. But here's the depository. They f go up the water, into the hoppers, and then into these chests. And uh, it's auto, so, you know, it fills up on its own. Got some bamboo here. Uh, it's actually Ben's house. Another new guy we got on the server. Really decent builder. This is really fucking nice. <laughs> oh 
Why? He's got a fish tank, I guess. I imagine Dylan put that there since he had a similar kind of thing going on in his uh in his uh house. Or his old one at least. But yeah, this is Ben's house. It's it's quaint, but it's, you know, well built. I don't know why there's acacia planted here. That is the worst tree. So uh Yeah, I don't know. And then this is actually Matthew's house. Decent little uh thing going on here. It's quaint. I'm not I'm not a fan of the minimalist design. I like building big, as people know. Um, I'm not. I'm not super good on the decoratory pieces. I'm not like savvy with slabs and uh, you know trapdoors and stairs and whatnot. So this is a very nice architectural piece in its own right. But it, I don't. I don't know. I'm not a fan of the whole building small idea. I like to build an epic castle, even if it takes a hell of a long time to make. And this, I would imagine, is just an XP farm. You send in uh, shit here, and then it'll. Go to the smelters and you can get XP or something. And it, it probably runs automatically, I'm not sure. Anyway, he built really close to a village here because this is an actually auto-generated village because he um, made himself a little uh, villager breather and, um, you know, books and whatnot. So you can get mending and stuff, which is why I have, like, mending on all my things. I can kind of pick and choose. But here's this little villager breeder. This is what we call Pittsburgh. It's pretty decent. You go in here, and uh, we got some guys here. I need to move him. Actually, no. This guy is efficiency 5, but I have not traded with him yet because it's damn expensive. So if you break this, he'd lose that book, which I hope no one does. Anyway, this is the little uh, bedroom here. Then here are all the villagers at work. We have a bunch of librarians, a bunch of farmers you can sell for emeralds. These guys all have a bunch of books. We got Mending, Thorns, Power, Curse of Binding. Silk Touch, Aqua Affinity, Frostwalker 2, Frostwalker is really fucking rare, Infinity, and other stuff. You can kind of get whatever enchantments you want so long as you have a lectern. And the funds, of course. So yeah, that's Pittsburgh. It's pretty, pretty sweet. It's one of the best additions to the server. Anyway, that's it for Matthew's Town. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the Nether Hub and see the last and arguably biggest uh, inclusion. And I'm I'm sure there are some people on the server that don't have Nether portals linked up to the hub. Like uh, I know Tammy doesn't have one. Uh, some of the people that haven't played as much, like Dylan Gailey and whatnot. Um, and Miles, I'm pretty sure moved his house. But um, yeah. Uh, he's probably AFK because he always does grinding. Anyway, off to spawn portal. All right, he didn't. Cool. Just double check you, bro. Bro. Forward slash. Anyway. Here we are. Spawn. Spawn is over in that forest somewhere. Probably like right there or something. But you go through here. And this is technically the spawn area we got going on here. Nice little uh, mountain base we got going on here. I built this house, which Jason then stole and lives in now. I built this uh, on the very first day of school. And, you know, lived in it before most of the people joined the server. They all kind of seeped in as the school days continued. But on the first day of school, in our, my first class, or, you know, advisory, the first day of senior year, I built this house. Anyway, moving on, we got a random chest here. Down the hill, we got a bunch of stuff to cover. Here's Micah's house. Uh, he doesn't play much, but, you know, this is where he's set up. He's got a nice enchantment table that's against the wall. I don't know how you're supposed to get in it. Um, I assume that's his mine. Yeah, it's 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 pretty uh basic, I suppose. But I like the whole glass ceiling stuff. It's it's cool. Um, pumpkin farm here. Let's work this way. Down here is Jason's first house before he went and stole mine. 
he we were we were gonna move together because I lived in this house for a good chunk of time, but I I never wanted to chill here. It's a pretty boring place to build a house, and I was like, oh, so this is the mom grinder. Um, so we were gonna move together, and then he just decided not to for whatever reason, and now I live alone, very far away from everyone, and uh, yeah, that's about the story with Jason as I know it. And we're heading over to Miles' house here. All of this is kind of just, uh, you know, not flushed out. Everyone kind of, kind of has their own little bases right now. But, um, yeah, there's a lot to see here. And eventually we are going to make Spawn City, uh, which means we're going to have to clear out all of those trees. But we're going to get a day where most of everyone can play that is in the server, at least, hopefully. We're just going to get a day, have everyone get in here and play all day, get rid of those trees, make a bunch of paths, make it look really fucking fresh. Uh, I think it'll be a lot of fun, but yeah, there's a lot of trees there. That's gonna be, it's gonna be a process. But anyway, here is Miles' house. I have not been here in a while, so this is pretty exciting for me. Um, I guess he has his bridge going here to his mop grinder. Nice little trapdoor bridge going on here. I prefer the fence, the fence bridge. But you know, what can you do? Uh, I don't even know if this works. I would not be surprised if it did. It looks pretty decent, but again, mob grinders have a tendency to not work on this server, so. I guess it does not work, because I'm not seeing any mobs. Um, there's a funny story with the remains of those uh, nether portals. And, yep, uh, it's a funny story, but I don't remember it, so. <laughs> They're just kind of sitting there. Uh, okay, I've not been here in a while, so this is all I'm going to need from you. we got some glowstone stuff going on here. Here's his main house. It was just one floor when I was chilling here, but we got a chest here. A bell. Maybe Miles is here. I can say hi to him. Um, got a chest here. That's a little looky-loo here. And a door. I wonder where this leads. This is mine. Okay. Is there any way upstairs? I see this. I'm very curious. Can I get up? Do I need uh, jumpy potions? Get on these balconies? How did he get up there? What's down here? How do you get up there? <laughs> what? I'm gonna water bucket up, I guess. There we go. So how are you meant to get up here? Just break this for a second. I'm sure you won't mind. So staircase. Interesting. Maybe I missed a spiral staircase somewhere. But uh, I guess this is a pool. I'm very scared to jump in it. Yeah, it's just a pool. This looks fresh. I'm going to be honest. Didn't think of much of it from the ground. But yeah, this is decent. That's a little rooftop pool going on here. That's the balconies. This is a great view. Right, let's see where this leads. Here's some skeletons. Perhaps he hasn't uh, fully flushed this out yet. Another balcony. No, he continues going. Maybe I did miss something. It keeps going. <laughs> ah, there's a door here. There's not even like a ramp to it, so yeah, I'm surprised I missed that. I'm not surprised I missed that, actually. Yeah, this is Miles' house. Honestly, uh, decent. Really decent. Not a lot into it, but it's it's quite... It's quite the structure. <laughs> anyway. We have one more thing to see, I'm pretty sure. I'll probably record Spawn City, the, the founding of it, I guess. Since that's going to be a pretty big deal, I would imagine. That'll be pretty exciting.
Okay, we've seen a lot today. This is really jam-packed. Uh, yeah, the one more thing I have to show you. Well, two little things, but one that's kind of a big deal. It, it attracts a lot of traffic. We have a sugarcane farm here, and then the big boy, an XP farm that literally I've used so much just to, like, refill my pickaxe with XP and uh, whatnot. It's just, it's built on top of a zombie grinder, and then they all fall down here. And you can just sit here and watch, like, fucking Better Call Saul or something. I watch Better Call Saul. And then, uh, you know, watch a 45-minute episode, come back, and there's, like, a million zombies stacked up in here. And you can get, like, 20 levels just from it. And then, you know, the items go down here into these hoppers. Really effective. It's quite the addition. And then this staircase just leads back to the house. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of the Minecraft server, I guess it would be. Um, mainly it's just me and Miles playing silently. I play almost every day, it's all I do anymore. I'm sure Dead by Daylight will come back at some point. It always does, but, uh, for now I'm enjoying my time with Minecraft since, you know, school's a big deal. I can't hop into, like, a survivor match whilst I'm playing school, because it requires a lot of focus and whatnot. Uh, whereas Minecraft, it's more of a laid-back experience, so I can just kind of, yeah, chill. It's decent. It's a lot of fun. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and comment. I'll cheer you guys think, and remember, stay gamer.